Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our class. It is another day of fun and learning. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in English 3, Quarter 3, Week 6. Milk Base Our lesson for today is about Responses to Questions on Informational Text. So kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to ask and respond to questions about informational sex listen to, environment, health, how-tos, etc. Hello kids! Today, we are going to study about responses to questions on informational text. What is about informational text? Informational text is a non-fiction text written with the intention of informing the reader about a specific topic. It presents factual details or information. It is typically found in magazines, signs, or history books, autobiographies, and other instructional materials. Now, let us read the selection about all about snake snakes are scary yet interesting animals they are reptiles and are cold-blooded they are limbless and has elongated body and tail they can smell with their tongues they do not have ears but they can hear through their jaw they change their skin from time to time a number of snakes have venom that can kill their prey their venoms are also used to create antidote against snake bite. They are carnivorous. They eat fish, chicken, mouse, birds, bat, and other animals. Now, let us answer the following questions based on this selection. First question. What type of animals are snakes? Very good! Snakes belong to reptiles and are cold-blooded animals. Second question, what are the characteristics of snakes? Very good! Snakes are limbless and has elongated body and tail. They can smell with their tongues. They do not have feet. They do not have ears but they can hear through their jaw. They change their skin from time to time. Third question, what do snakes eat? Very good! Snakes are carnivorous. They eat fish, chicken, mouse, birds, bat, and other animals. The selection about All About Snake is an example of informational text. It presents factual details or information about a specific topic. In this case, it discusses facts about snakes. Now for our first activity, Activity 1. Read the selection below then identify what details are asked. Quezon Province is the largest province in Calabarzon in terms of land area. The province is divided into two cities and 39 municipalities or towns. Lucena is its capital city. Kalilayan was the first known name of the province. It was later renamed Tayabas in honor of the former governor of the province who later became the second president of the country Manuel Luis Quezon, the province names was then changed to Quezon. Now, answer the following questions based on this selection. Number 1. What is the largest province in Calabarzon in terms of land area? Let's take a look the selection. Quezon province is the largest province in Calabarzon in terms of land area. So the answer on this question is 
the largest province in Calabarzon in terms of land area is Quezon. Number 2. How many cities and towns are there in Quezon province? Let's take a look again, the selection. The province is divided into two cities and 39 municipalities or towns. So the answer on this question is... There are two cities and 39 towns in Quezon province. Number 3. What is the capital city of Quezon province? Let's go back to the selection. Lucena is its capital city. So the answer on this question is... The capital city of Quezon province is Lucena. Number 4. Before using its current name, what was the name of the province? Let's go back to the selection. It was later renamed Tayabas. So the answer on this question is... Tayabas was the name of the province before using its current name. Number 5. Who was the inspiration for changing the name of the province from Tayabas to its present name? Let's go back to the selection. In honor of the former governor of the province who later became the second president of the country, Manuel Luis Quezon, the province name was then changed to Quezon. So the answer on this question is... Manuel L. Quezon was the inspiration for changing the name of the province. Details in informational text Factual information or details are presented in informational text. These texts provide specific details about particular persons, places, things, events, and topics. Details in informational texts are basically determined by asking important questions, such as what, when, where, why, and how. These questions serve as guide in getting the factual details about a given selection or text. For our second activity, Activity 2, read the selection below, then identify what details are asked. A butterfly has wings with different colors and structures. Butterflies have wings which are covered with many tiny scales. They have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have taste receptors on their feet. They get nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. They see a range of ultraviolet colors, invisible to the human eyes. Now, let us answer the following questions based on this selection. Number 1. What cover the wings of butterflies? Let's take a look again the selection. Butterflies have wings which are covered with many tiny scales. So the answer on this question is... Tiny scales cover the wings of butterflies. Number 2. Where can the taste receptors of butterflies be found? Let's go back to the selection. They have taste receptors on their feet. So the answer on this question is... Butterflies have taste receptors on their feet. Number 3. How do butterflies get nutrients? Let's go back to the selection. They get nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. So the answer on this question is... Butterflies get nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. Number 4. What do butterflies see that are invisible to the human eyes? Let's go back to the selection. They see a range of ultraviolet colors invisible to the human eyes. So the answer on this question is... Butterflies see a range of ultraviolet colors invisible to the human eyes. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Very good, kids! Yay! Remember, 
informational text is a non-fiction text written with the intention of informing the reader about a specific topic. It presents factual details or information. It is typically found in magazines, signs, or history books, autobiographies, and other instructional materials. Factual information or details are presented in informational text. These texts provide specific details about particular persons, places, things, events, and topics. Details in informational texts are basically determined by asking important questions, such as what, when, where, why, and how. These questions serve as guide in getting the factual details about a given selection or text. Kids, have you learned a lot from this lesson? Very good! So again, the topic that we have discussed today is about Responses to questions on informational text Kids, I hope you have learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thank you.